Hey guys! About a month ago, my county went into the green phase, which meant that really, really non-essential businesses could open back up again, which means I got my job back. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the same as it was before, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do so we can one day get back to that. So basically what I did was I recorded some stuff from opening weekend. I took some vlog footage back then and then I thought I'd share it to you now along with some updates and changes that have been made, how rules and regulations have like changed and gone back and forth with that place. So without further ado, let's begin. It is June 2020, that's July. Hey, oh, there's a curtain in my way. Hey guys, today I return to Sky Zone for work. And I'm excited, my face looks so pink on camera. And I think it's because of the orange shirt. My shift starts at four and it's, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.46 p.m. Okay, so I am probably gonna leave in about an hour. I don't plan on doing a full face of makeup because I gotta wear this thing, so. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I know there was a couple of other events at our location before like opening to the public today. We had like a birthday day where the kids who had their birthday parties canceled could come and they could bring a friend. So if you are a Sky Zone visitor who has stumbled upon this video, they're still honoring like all of the spring passes even though it's June. So yeah, I know the concession stand setup is gonna be completely different. Like we're gonna have to wear gloves the entire time, which is gonna be so much fun when handling money. I don't know where they plan on hiding the ice cream freezer because like there's definitely not room behind this like concession stand for it. But yeah, when they were explaining the cleaning shift, they were like, you guys will be wearing a cool yellow jacket and you'll be doing this and that. For some reason, I envision what the cleaning shift is going to look like. I envision some sort of like Ghostbuster and the neon orange and the neon yellow. And I don't know, maybe we have like a vacuum and a backpack. I, I don't know why, that's just like what comes to mind. Not 100% sure what exactly I'm going to be cleaning, but it's something like that. I, I got an email and it was just like a video of like, ways that we are trying to keep the park safe. They were like just wiping down the most miscellaneous things. And I was like, I mean, I guess you gotta do that. But like, that's not the first thing I would've thought about, so. Have a new position, the cleaner who wears a bright neon yellow, like the color of my nails. Oh, focus on that, why don't you? The color of my nails, like that colored vest with those orange shirts. And the back of the vest says clean team sky zone. And it's the most fashionable thing I've ever worn in my life. Basically what the cleaner does is they just walk around with a bottle of Epistat and a different colored rags and they just clean all of the commonly touched surfaces. All of our countertops, our door handles, the tables, the chairs, the railings, the beams, you know, like the support beams of the mezzanine and stuff like that. The bathrooms and they'll use like different colored rags for different areas. I think it's mostly just like the tables, just any surface that food will usually be on will be cleaned with certain colored rag and then everything else will be cleaned with like a different kind of rag. Just cause you know, if you don't want to wipe a surface that like somebody's sweaty booty has been on, on this, you don't want to use a rag for the surface that will have your food that also touch the surface that your sweaty butt has been on. Do you, do you know what I mean? Am I saying that right? So let's talk about opening weekend. Um, extremely uneventful. Okay, so I just pulled in and there's nobody here. Expect it to be packed. Cause it just looks like we're closed. There's nobody here. I don't know, the way that my area has been responding to like everything opening back up, I expected this to be packed with people. The funny thing about what I'm wearing, my eyeshadow, it's, it's the Make and Bank palette from Morphe. And I will not be making bank today. Not likely. All right, well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> and um, I sat around for like 30 to 45 minutes with the rest of my coworkers. And we just waited for somebody to come and then somebody finally came. 
Greg, start telling me about yesterday again. It was fucking uh, terrible. I walked 20,400 steps. Almost eight miles yesterday here. <laughs> today was boring. I played with two kids. Dog walk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I just finished my first shift back. <laughs> it was slower than hell. There was nobody. Like I said, when I came into the parking lot, there was literally like three cars here and it was everybody who was working the shift. And I walked inside, we sat there for a whole, at least half hour, just like not doing anything because nobody was there. It was insane. And then a family finally came in. So we actually had to do our jobs. I was working the cleaning shift, which means I was just going around the park cleaning things as many times as I could. I think I wiped every single railing and just like touching surface down like like six times probably my entire shift, which might not sound like a lot, but considering how much is in there and how quick I made my rounds, it was so much. It came to the point where I was just going through everything so quickly that I got something and I was like, I just cleaned this like five minutes ago and nobody has been over here because there's like five people in the whole park. Yeah, it was a little redundant, but I feel like if there were more people actually touching things, it would have felt like it was more necessary for me to keep cleaning those things over and over again. So I know in like my last guys in video, I talked about like each position and how much I liked each position. And cleaner is like an added position, but it's not like you need really official training. It is hitting things with Hepastat and only using like certain color washcloths on certain surfaces. It really wasn't hard. You were very to yourself. You worked at your own pace. It wasn't terrible. And I could like still just talk to my friends here or there. But like I said, when it was really slow and we had like maybe 10 jumpers the last four hours, it definitely just felt stupid to just keep cleaning everything whenever there was nobody touching it but if it were more packed there definitely would have been necessary for me to just keep cleaning everything on sunday i'm working court monitor also they started doing rotations for court monitor which i'm so excited about basically if i didn't explain this in the last guys in video a rotation is when you're a court monitor and you're at one court and then they say okay we're gonna rotate and then you just like go to the next court and watch it for so long uh, for some reason, like, we haven't been doing that, and we would just sit at one court for six hours for a shift, and that's honestly what made it so boring, but switching it up, in my experience, does help, so, yeah, that's all I gotta say. See ya! <laughs> <sighs> okay, sup guys, ignore the fact that half of my face actually has makeup on it, because I was wearing a mask for the entirety of today, so just got done with my sunday shift which was a court monitor yeah it was kind of boring nobody was there the first 15 minutes we stood around two kids finally came in and they were the only two kids for like an hour and a half at least i think the highest number we hit today and it's like 3 30 it's probably around like 10 or 12 kids yeah we really haven't been getting a lot of business if you're worried about there being too many people for you to go don't worry there's usually never more than like 10 people there so you can social distance as much as you want and you'll be fine. There wasn't a whole lot that we were taking away. As far as like attractions, the only thing that got taken away was the jousting pit. One of the miscellaneous things we have is like a jousting pit and there's like four little like yoga ball things you stand on top of. And then there's also just like these padded sticks that are lying around in the foam pit. They'll just pick up the sticks and whack each other and fight each other. Just like the jousting sticks was something that we couldn't adequately clean very often. So we decided to get rid of those, but everything else is pretty much just still open. We have limited the number of dodgeballs that can be used at dodgeball. I don't really know what purpose that served, but it's something that was put in place. Uh, we are still offering birthday parties with a capacity of 10 jumpers. Dodgeball Court Monitor now cleans the dodgeballs periodically. Um, I don't know why we didn't just do that before because those dodgeballs get so nasty. The kids like wipe their sweat on them and they spit on them. And 
gross stuff. Like, why didn't we do that before? Um, and at the end of every night, the closing manager will go around with like one of those like, you know, not like a spray paint thing, but you know the little gun thing that you can buy? It's not like a gun, but it's like a, a spray gun that you usually put paint in and then you can like paint your walls with it. They do that, but with the chemical and they hit down all the trampolines and the foam blocks, the warrior course, everything gets sprayed with that. So masks. Our policy with those have changed a couple of different times. Um, I think at first it started out like nobody had to wear a mask, only the workers did. And I think right now it's currently sitting at jumpers do not have to wear a mask. Non-jumpers like parents, babysitters, they do have to wear a mask. Thankfully I have not had to fight a Karen yet, but we never know when that might happen. Let's pray that we still don't have to. So yeah, there you have it. That's how Sky Zone's been. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, please. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.